Now I'm getting ready to go to France and I'm putting together a band that will, a trio, to play in the French Alps. And somebody that lives here, one of my roommates, is French and he lives in the attic actually. Um, he's just here for a month and a half and it turns out that he's looking for a band and that he's a manager of this resort in the French Alps. And uh, so I was looking, when I met him he said I need a band, you know, and I was thinking, oh, well, I know people that you know, would be great for the show. I didn't think of me. And then when my friend said, we can't leave LA, we gotta, we gotta be here. I was like, I've been here seven, almost seven years. I've been here almost seven years and I, I thought, why not me? So now I have to put a band together and I put an ad up on Craigslist and I'm getting calls a lot of them, which I'm not going to answer them because I'll let them leave messages and I'll go from there. This is temporary. And uh, I moved here um, about a month ago. I think it's great. It feels like a museum in here. You know, there's a, there's a lot of interesting people that live in the neighborhood that literally just like live like right next door. And uh, there's a woman, Jane, who lives right behind here in a very small area. Very important, do your dishes. This is home. Last night it rained, there was no window here. So, there were some problems. And, and you know, I thought that the window was, you know, right here, but it's not. It's been wonderful. It's been um, very interesting. A lot of changes. Um, I hope this French Alps gig happens. I'm not sure, you know, who the trio is going to be. Um, so I've just put a call out to all the musicians I know. Somebody gave me a car, um, and I drove around the car for like a month and a half, two months, and it was so helpful to move my things out of the incubator to actually have a space to put them in. My belongings, which are very few because, well, enough to fill up a car. 
but they're, most of my belongings are in storage. I went to Burning Man and I parked my car somewhere. After Burning Man, I came back here. On the drive back from Burning Man, I was thinking, where am I going to stay? I, I literally don't have a plan. I don't know where I'm going to stay. I went to Burning Man without any money. And I was thinking of my friend Grant, who I saw at Burning Man, who a month before Burning Man or so had said, if you ever need a place to stay, call me. You know, And uh, I met Grant because I went to buy my web website name, vessimink.com and somebody had already purchased it. And I was like, what the hell? Who purchased my name? So I did some investigation, um, and it was Grant Gordon who bought my name. So that's how we met last year. And uh, so I've been seeing him around Venice and, you know, randomly, and uh, he allowed me to stay at his home for two and a half weeks, three weeks maybe even. But then his landlord, who lives next door, was like, you gotta get her out of here. Our rental agreement isn't covering anybody except you here, and, uh, and it was a money issue. He actually ended up taking care of me too. I, he fed me and uh, there was no exchange of sex or anything weird like that. Although I'm sure if I would have been into it, he probably would have been too, but we're just friends. A lot of people do that exchange, you know, sex for, for uh, exchange love and attention for, for a place to live, but uh, yeah, it's interesting too the the when people are kind to you, it's like are they kind to you because they want something from you? Are they kind to you because they can be kind to you and you don't owe them anything because they just want to be kind? I would rather that be the case as opposed to owing somebody something that you don't aren't even aware of. So um, after Grant's house, uh, here after Grant's house, I. I called Brett and asked him, and I've known Brett for about five years. I met him on the Third Street Promenade at the cigar shop, and so when I called him, he was like, "Wow, that'd be great. I would love it. You know, you could uh, let me give me a couple hours. You know, let me find out." And uh, so soon he was like, "Yeah, you can, you, can, you know, stay right there." Mm -hmm.